Okay, we are going to ignore that I'm not very dressed up or looking amazing right now. We're going to ignore the bad lighting in the messy house and the kid nodding in the background. We are going to do this video very quickly. I was going to do this video while the kids were at school and baby was napping, but I was like, you know what? I'm embracing the chaos and we're just going to do it like this. This, Embrace the chaos. this is a scavenger hunt. I will post Kayla's video, Books and Lala, who came up with this scavenger hunt and she just did a video recently for this. So I will share that down below as well. So I got the questions right here. Grab your favorite book. So when Kayla did this, she did it as her favorite book so far this year. I'm kind of cheating a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of cheating in the scavenger hunt. I'm sorry. This is my favorite the, book. Okay. There's a couple of things we need to do. I need to read the book that's in this box. I need to read that. But before I read this book, I need to read this book. So what are the chances we're going to get this book as the, the prize? We'll see. For the first question, it's grab your favorite book. I am grabbing The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. This is the third book I read this year. And it is the first five stars I gave. It was a five stars while reading it. Objectively, this is not a five star. I read it. I loved it and completely forgot about it after I read it. There is one quote in here that I just loved and thought was hilarious. She's talking about something. She says something kind of stupid and she's like, what am I going to say next? Gum would be perfection. And if you know, you know, and we can be friends. So we're just going with this book as the favorite book. If you like stories about people who are bookish, who work in a bookstore, who do random trivia nights, like not random trivia nights, it's like every Thursday night or whatever. If you like trivia nights where people do just random trivia things, this is the book and lots of friends references and quotes. Okay, go to the acknowledgements and the first name you see, find a book with an author with the same name. We're gonna go to the acknowledgements. See if there's any acknowledgements in the front. There's like to my stepfather. I also read this for Buzzword in January for life. It was life or death. Acknowledgements. The first name you see. Allie Gray. A-L-I. I don't think I have an A-L-I author. Goodreads is helpful in this situation, but I don't think I have an A-L-I Allie. Maya, can you find an Allie person who like wrote a book, like the author's name on this bookshelf? Can you look? A-L-I. Sophie, can you check that bookshelf oh, over there? Sure. You miss so this is where the scavenger hunt with the kids comes in, is they're going to look at the books on the bookshelves. Sebastian and Ryland, can you check the bookshelf in the bedroom yeah. for an author that starts with the word, that has the name Ali, A-L-I. I'm going to look and see. the books were written by the same guy. Well, the yeah, his looks... name is Dave. Bilky. A-L-I, but if it comes with a different spelling, I'll take it. So I don't use Goodreads very much. I mostly have been logging everything on Storygraph. So, oh, Allie Hazelwood is actually spelled that way, but I don't have any Allie Hazelwood on my physical shelf. I'm going to look for another name and see what comes up. Kate. K-A-T-E. That one might be easier to find. Let's spin you around and show you what the kids are looking for. Okay, Maya. That's my bookshelf. Say hi. Sophie? Oh. You see any Allie there? A L I? No, but if I can, I can check downstairs. Bookshelf. Yes. Yeah. Go look downstairs. Do really quick. I'll just check the ones up there. Okay. Those are like the classics up there kind of thing. So Allie Hazel Hazelwood is actually spelt that way. Uh, and then the next one down is the Alice Network by Kate Quinn. And Kate was the second word I saw, second name I saw. I don't know how to look up. Just authors' names. Ali Wong, dear girl. S.K. Ali, who does Love from A to Z, which I have not read yet. Okay, so we're gonna go into the bedroom. So you can also look for the name Kate. K A T E. Oh, definitely found a Kate. Oh, Daddy definitely found a Kate. Can Rylan find a Kate? I found a. Where I found I found a twenty-sided dice. Cool. I found a Dumont. <laughs> I was like, hey, I know that name. <laughs> Our friend wrote a book about money. Maybe we can do 20 sided die picks my TBR next time. Oh, I have a 20 sided die you can use. Ryan's playing with it. Oh. Yeah? yeah? But I got a cooler one. Got, Look how dirty our wall is. is it's actually patches, not dirt. But... Patches, though. Who the hell? 
Yeah. Are we looking for a Kate? Yeah, you said you found a Kate. I thought for sure I found a Kate somewhere. Mom. Or Allie, A L I. Riley, can you help me? Okay, hey, Maya wins round one with a Kate. Oh my gosh, you can't even see it. Not my daughter by Kate Hewitt. I just read. <laughs> That's a funny one for my daughter to find. I just read my daughter's, my mother's daughter. My daughter's mother. So this would have been a good one to read after this. Okay, you guys can tell Sophie we found a cake. She's not going to hear that. So we're going to go with Kate because I don't think I have an Ali. Or Ali. So number two, author of the same name. So Kate. Pick something on the cover and find another book. With the thing in the title, so this isn't a cover, like similar covers, we're looking for something in the title. So on this cover, there is like grass, mom, and a daughter. So can you find a book that has the word mom or daughter in it, or person or woman? Look for a book on the bookshelf that says mom, daughter, or person or woman in the book title. Okay, Rylan got the word mommy on there, which is a good one. And... Sebastian got... Women are scary. Okay, so, Sebastian. <laughs> women are scary. Go to page 50. Line 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Nope. Pick a word from that line and find a title with that in the word. Small Mom. doses. So, small or doses? Oh, it's just one word? Yeah. What's the line? Heads or... You don't even have a head. <laughs> oh, my knees. Heads or out our mouths. It's acceptable in small doses, like when? How about acceptable? I don't think I have a single book with the It words. has about, mommy heads. at the end of this book. Can you go downstairs and see if you have a book with the word head in the title? Okay. Right. No heads. My husband picked the most <laughs> random word he could find out of that whole sentence. So I am on Storygraph, and there are books called like A Head Full of Ghosts, Head Over Heels. When we lost our heads, it sounded better in my head. Dirty headlines. Don't look at that, you guys. Plus, the daughter raised by a voice in her head. Basket full of heads. A severed head. Ew. I don't think I have head on my bookshelf, said. Severed. A history of heads lost and heads found. <laughs> and it's like literally the cover. I'm going to save it and show it. On the cover, it's just like a guy like about to chop someone's head off like back in medieval times. Does a booklet count? Do we need to pick a different word? I think you need to pick a different okay, word. Okay, what? You have mouth? Mouth? I don't think. He's just going with the body parts, apparently. Well, all the other words are like or out. Like, those are all just normal words. It's. Like, that's lame. What about doses? Doses? I don't think so. What are the other ones? Heads or out our mouths. It's acceptable in small doses. Small? Like small. small is a normal. Okay, There's small. even small doses. There's a book called Small Doses. Is that what I'm supposed to read next? Yeah. Okay, look for small. A heavy dose of Allison Tandy. A dose of Pretty Poison. A big dose of Lucky. Hi, Jesper. It's so cute. He's a wee around. dose of death. The word is murder. murder. I'm going to buy this book. I will save a picture of it. The for my is murder. For my daughter, for me to read. Well, it is that. called I Only that. Read Murder. That. Yes, get that. I don't know, she has a bookshelf down there oh, full of murder. Just saying. Okay, we need a book with what small in the title. Can you look down downstairs? Like, seriously. I look at the front, I look at the back, and read the back, it's about murder. I don't know. <laughs> what else do you want me to say? Okay, so I'm going to go to this bookshelf here and look for the word small. Because I think my kids gave up on the scavenger hunt. Can you see me? I'm just like hand holding the camera. That's great. I didn't give up. I never give up. So we're moving down to this yeah. bookshelf now. So we're gonna move to the bedroom. All this crazy lighting and everything. And <laughs> my baby chasing behind me. A lot of littles, no smalls. Daddy told me to give this to you. Little. Oh, the little Paris bookshop. I read this for Have you read a this? buzzword. This is gigantic. Yes, I've read that one. It's probably the thickest book that ever did. 
Sebastian, you're failing in picking a word that I have on my bookshelf. You think small would be an easy one? I think so. You got like a bunch of books. Are little, little this. Little you that. said we gave up, but do you know how much books you yeah. have? I don't think you realize how many books we had. I said now my husband is telling me to find a book with the word it in it. Now he's going like super easy. Or out. Okay, so instead of it, my husband picked out. And he's got the book, so he's coming back. Out yeah, from this... Boneville. Okay, Seb, so I'm going to get your help with this one since all the kids have given up on me. Out from Boneville. So the next one is find a five-star read with the same colors on the cover. So we have like this deep purple... We got like grayish blue, white, black, and red. These are these are our colors. A five star read. Like matches like the red. There you go. Yep. What That's did good. Ryan pick? The little yes. Bit this is I read this one. For the love, Jen Hatmaker. Find a book with the same number of pages. Hint hint. Goodreads is your friend. So this one is one I'm gonna cheat a little bit, and I think I'm gonna go five pages more or less with this one. We will see. So let's see how many pages this is. Okay, so this is acknowledgments. The launch team members. Look at that. Those are just acknowledgments. This is the book I should have picked for acknowledgments, cause yeah, they're even in alphabetical order. So this is actual reading. Why? 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 207 pages. So take this book on this bookshelf and kind of look and see if you can find a book that looks roughly the same amount of pages. How many pages did I say, Seb? 207. Seven? This rings of fire will stick it. Okay, so Sophie found one. Bruce Colville's oh, Alien Adventures, The Search oh, for oh, Snout. Oh, yeah, this one is 212 pages. So we're five, we're, we hit the five page mark exactly. So, find a book the same number of pages. Flip open to any page. The first name you see, find a book by an author who shares that name. Here, I'll get it. Okay. Just pick a page. Chapter oh 5. Exactly chapter 5 that I choose. The first name you see. Gracker? Gracker? Of course we had to pick like a <laughs> alien sci-fi book. Madame Pong? <gasps> I don't think I have a book. Damn. With an author named Pong, Albright, or Gracker. Ella Albright wrote The Last Charm. Talk about charm bracelets. How sweet. Okay, Sophie, what's the first name you see? Okay. Seymour. Seymour? Seymour. Seymour. Seymour Butts. How do you spell it? S E Y. Yeah. M. M O U R. O U R? Yeah. I don't pizza. think I have any books with the name Seymour in it. Ooh, Something The Secret else. of Nim. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch out. Watch out. Um, Over oh, here. Mission, guys. Mission. Now, this is my, like, special bookshelf. These are my classics over here. Yeah. Oh, no. The Secrets of Nim is over there. It says it's written by O'Brien. That's not a Seymour. The wrong name. That one. I can't reach it. I think so. Yeah. Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Robert C. O'Brien. Wrong Nim, apparently. C. Any C. Moores? Okay, so I looked on Goodreads. The Secret of Nim. It's written by Robert C. O'Brien, the original no novel, but the thing that popped up here is Seymour Rhett Adapter. I don't know what that means. Like, adapted from what? I don't know. It kind of looks like the movie version of it or something. It's only 32 pages long. Third time's a charm? Let's find another name. So we're gonna, next time, not pick science fiction. This one. Page 116 and 117. So I'm 116. But I'm Pong again. I don't have a book with Pong as the author. Or Madame, as far as I know. My Smelly Butt Kids. Ew. My Smelly Butt Kids Funny Bedtime Story Picture Book by Lee Pong Wong. No Pong. Okay. No Albright. Gracker. What are the chances I have a book by somebody named Gracker? G R A K K E R. One book comes up. Oh, oh, by Bruce Scoville. It's a French version of one of his books. <laughs> I have better luck just going with Bruce Scoville's name at this point. Maybe I'll flip to like acknowledgments and his name will be there. The chances of me finding a book with an author that shares the name of Smorkus 
Flinders. S M O R K U S is pretty small. We'll look him up. Smorkus. Nope. Nope. No result. Okay, I found a book called She is Free, Learning the Truth About the Lies That Hold You Captive by Andy Andrew. And before the appendix, it is 203 pages, which is within the five page limit that I set. The appendix goes to 211, so that works as well. So, flip to any page. Find a book, the first name you see, Isaiah. The scripture quote, but I don't know if I have Isaiah as an author on my shelves. You have no books matching Isaiah. Flip open a page. Pick a name. The scavenger hunt is taking us way longer than anticipated. There's God. I don't think God wrote a book that is an author on my list. Jonathan. And if not, we have a big list here. Yeah, I have this one. Up at the very top there, Maya, is there one called Into Thin Air? Yeah, right there, Into Thin Air. Over, 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 over. Okay, because this has taken so long, I'm going with Into Thin Air by John. It's not Jonathan, it's John, but that's what we're doing. Find another title with the same number of letters. So, Into Thin Air. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we need a book with 11 letters in the title. Do I have to count a personal account of the eleven. of the Mount Everest disaster? Um, Nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. Okay, hold on. A personal account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forty-nine. I'm not doing that. We're going with the flip side. I just bought this book. It's got like a bunny. How cute is that? He's suffering from a quarter-life crisis. Broke up with his girlfriend. Retained custody of their pet rabbit. And yeah. It's cute. Find a book with a similar cover. So I need a book that looks kind of like this. Maybe it has a bunny on it. Maybe it has a Ferris wheel. A blue with a boy and a girl on the cover. Kind of romantic. Yellow lettering. Oh, bam. Okay, Maya picked The Road Trip. This is going to be One Bumpy Ride by Beth O'Leary. I haven't read this one yet. Um, similar, not quite the same color, but kind of in the same family of colors a boy and a girl on the cover there's no rabbit but there is like he's carrying all his stuff in a box these people have luggage we're going with it we're just we're just rolling with this now and then flip to a random page point at a word and find that word in a book title on your tbr shelf so you guys i need to read this book this month it's called book lovers so i gotta point to book or lovers what are my chances are you guys ready mm -hmm. Tell me when to stop, so Stop! You're not Sophie. Why do you stop. want Sophie? Okay. Maya, close your eyes and point to a word. It better be book or lovers. It's the book. Tell. She pointed to leave. Oh, I heard. I heard. Leave. Leave me now. That's leave lovers. That's the same word, right? Wow. No, it's not. Go find a book with the word leave in it. Go, look, 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 go, go, go. Leave. Leaving. L-E-A-B-E. Okay, so I picked this book. This has been on my TBR for a long time. This came out. Lisa Turkhurst is one of my favorite authors. 2018. It's called, it's not supposed to be this way, but finding unexpected strength when disappointments leave you shattered. This this is the book I have, and it, it is on my TBR. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but maybe I can at least start it this month. So anyways, this is the book that I have to read now, thanks to this very long scavenger hunt. This was crazy, but it was fun. So kids, yeah, here's the really fun part of the scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt! Go put all these books away now. Put them wherever. Put them wherever, thanks. I started a whole bunch of... I started at least three slices of pizza and I don't know where they are. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye!